All right, so we're here in an attic uh, up here with our air handler. We're going to try to detect some leaks. We have a, a RetroTech duct, duct tester down below us, and uh, we're connected to the gauge with the uh, RetroTech gauge remote app to, uh, to this iPad, and so we can control our duct tester from up here. That way I don't need a second person or, uh, or have to go and run up and down the ladder to adjust my fan speed. And uh, I'm also going to use the uh, TinyS handheld fog machine to be able to have uh, control of my fan in one hand, the smoker in the other. Uh, that way they can make short work of this, which is good because this is a sweaty day here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and it's July, so hopefully this won't take too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my pressure just like I would on the DM32 gauge. It's the same screen, just mirrored on my device. I'm gonna go a little higher than 25. I'm gonna take this up to 45 Pascal. That way it can give me a little bit better feel of uh, where the leaks are and it'll help the Tiny S find those leaks faster. And so we have a penetration here where we have some wiring coming out. A lot of times those will need to be caulked up if you want a really tight duct system. So you can see some of that smoke kicking out there. So we have some air leaking out of that hole. These punch outs here on the side of the air handler are sources of air leakage as well. You can see how the smoke is interacting with them as the air is getting pushed through them. And so there's a small hole here that uh, you might be able to see. Uh, some of these holes don't seem very big, but uh, this particular house is getting certified to Advanced Energy's System Vision Program, which has a duct leakage target of 3% total. And so once you identify a bunch of these at the air handler, they can add up to be quite a bit, especially if you have a low target like that. And so we'll see. Yeah, so you can see some smoke getting blown straight at the camera here. So I ended up bumping my fan up to a little bit higher, up to 55, just to help show how some of the smoke can get captured on the camera a little bit better. But um, that's just a quick rundown of how you can use these, tool, uh, these two tools together to make life a little bit faster in the field. So uh, thanks for watching.